So what is simulation and why use it? Part three, or what simulation introduction. So simulations within production in general relates to material flow at the factory level, geometry at the cell level and process at the process level. Process level is usually within the cell level, so to say. So we move from the system into the cell, into the system, into the, into the various processes, which could be a process, could be whatever is, 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 is uh, going on in the cell, so to say. It could be arc welding, bin picking, uh, thermal spray, uh, grinding, polishing, well, whatever actually, which also usually has to be controlled in some way. Geometry simulations or robotic simulations relates to usually dynamic behavior. It's usually time discrete, deterministic in scope, uh, in a way that uh, we have a model and we have programs that by its pure definition is deterministic, meaning that we don't have any stochastic variations that we can have, but then usually we don't have. I use a cell level for robot or cell planning, setting up a system, checking that things are working, optimization of cycle times. You want to validate robots programs uh, or create programs for the robot by using offline programming methodologies. Some key parameters that are included relates to kinematics, geometry, different CAD models in a sense, and their respective relations within the cell and how they're moved and control systems, of course. The material flow simulations are usually carried out by discrete event simulation. They're usually stochastic in a way that within a process or within a machine that perform a process, machine tool, robot, or whatever, there are some stochastic vari variable uh, variations that are managed in a statistical way, like uptime, uh, errors that could go on and so on. And um, that happens from time to time. I usually used at the factory or cell level for logistics and planning, optimization of materials, material flows, resource allocations, checking out actually how to balance a system between different uh, processes, different uh, work styles, and so on. So we have key parameters related to process time, resource allocation, routing. Quite often, for one machine, we have a source where objects are created, put into a buffer. The buffer can have uh, avail availability for one or more objects, and they these are moved on to the machine where they are processed under a certain time, which could vary depending on stochastical variations, and then out to the buffer again, which could hold one or more items and then to the sink where it is just disappearing. At the factory level, um, we can create different kinds of geometrical models, but the sense is actually to have a discrete event simulation on how a work object is processed during its transportation from operation to operation in the factory. It could look like this one, which is a factory for uh, machining parts, in reality a 16 liters uh, diesel engine. It goes through different uh, operations, from operation 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on, up to operation 190. Most of these are machine tools, some are robots or measuring devices uh, or de measuring sensors and so forth. We have a current clock ticking uh, and going up 
for the simulation time and we are at the ramp up phase at the moment so during simulation we normally have a ramp up phase where things has to stabilize and when it is stabilized we can actually check how things perform the yellow is as a waiting uh, and yellow is red is a disturbance orange orange is a blocked machine and green is running so um, at the moment we can see that uh, well there is a variation of it of course but uh, we have some orange now which are blocked and uh, there is a disturbance going on at some time still it's a ramp up phase so we don't care about this at the moment after some time we will move into the steady state phase like now and uh, we now get the orange at more or less the same places at some times during the study of this uh, factory it came out to our knowledge that the disturbances was due to some settings of the machining parameters together with uh, some specific uh, uh, cutting tools by uh, rearranging the uh, machining parameters with some optimized cutting tools at a quite small uh, investment the total uh, output of the whole factory whole line could be increased by a significant amount so discrete event simulation usually can perform quite significant uh, output used in the right way.